still you probably have an idea of what I was saying. If not, we'll rehash. So today we're going to be doing a special reaction. It's called the Elisa reaction. Uh, does anyone remember what it stands for? Enzyme linked and similar to something. <laughs> <laughs> you got the first two. Well, I, I read it on the uh, cheater. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Enzyme linked immunosorbent assay. All right. So I'm going to dice. Let's dissect what this means because so far it really doesn't seem very intuitive what they're talking about. discussing is what an assay is. An assay in, a, in a, a biology lab is just anything that's a procedure. And it's just a set of instructions, set of procedure, how to actually execute something. And then next is the immunosorbent assay. Immunosorbent, just to put in simple terms, is pretty much what we're going to do. Uh, immunosorbent just means um, we're going to be using some antibodies to really detect if this is going to be working or not. And enzyme linked, that means we're going to use an enzyme to see if there is actually an HIV-1 antigen present in the blood. And does anyone want to tell me what HIV is in molecular terms? A yep. virus. A virus. And what is a virus? Uh, protein code with a nucleic acid. Good, good, good. It's like a nucleic acid. In this case, all right. Some are DNA based. Some are DNA based, but this is the RNA basis for the HIV-1. And who wants to tell me how this guy makes DNA from? How does this guy usually make DNA? Reverse transcriptase. Yeah. yeah. It uses once it uh it it links on to uh, an immune cell and uses reverse transcriptase to convert the RNA into DNA where you can start the transcription process. Right, because the virus does not have itself have yeah. formal ribosomes or any sort of uh, protein machinery which it can use to reproduce itself. And then it makes copies of itself and infects of itself. Yep, it's pretty much kind of like a parasite. In like one of those movies, has anyone wanted to see those horror, horror science alien movies? They take over the host and then after that they reproduce, repropagate. And the reason reverse transcriptase is so dangerous is it has a high rate of mutation. And this is a very big problem because let us say the reverse transcriptase decides to go switch its RNA to DNA by reverse transcription. If that were to occur, and there's a high rate of mutation, right, because reverse transcriptase is very inaccurate. It's a very buggy enzyme. It doesn't like to make correct our DNA samples. But that actually helps it because then it, in these coding mistakes, it will recognize new genes that will actually help it to defend against um, antiviral drugs or anything we can throw against it. So now there's a huge race to go on to see if we can find this, a source for the cure, before we all go die of it. And the reason ELISA reactions are so important is because they're used as a diagnostic uh, test. And here's how we're going to be doing this. So if you remember, uh, you have your little microtiter plates, right? And within each, you've got these little wells. These wells are actually going to be holding the HIV antigen. And I'll just draw it in this way. By hydrophobic interaction, it will actually absorb to, it'll actually adhere to the well. So once you put it in, it'll stay in there. 